I would like to explain in this video some techniques concerning Hari or Hari Tsuke. Uh, I have been in a class, in a training with Sido Jordan and he explained me some details about this special method, these, uh, these techniques that are called Hari or Hari Tsuke as I have uh, named before. Hari means to stick and uh, Tsuke is the emphasis on this sticking. Then are specific techniques or specific uh, method concerning Aikido Jutsu that the master used to explain with a very tough uh, thinking or a very violent thinking. And I would like today to explain on this video, uh, performing some techniques, how these techniques are, are, are done. Uh, only for a basic explanation or a basic summarize of what it uh, what it's based this method is when you apply any uh, lock on Aikido Jutsu you will be breaking and the control will be performed breaking bones, breaking the joints with the purpose at the end of leaving the opponent with the limbs broken and without any in a, in a position that he will be restrained and incapable to escape from. Then uh, they leave the enemy in that position and there is known, well, the legends say that uh, some people were found dead on this position because they have been uh, left to, death, uh, to, to die on that position. And you will see that it's a very powerful uh, restric uh, restraining technique that I would like to show to you right now. Then, my first attempt here will be in the following idea. Maybe if we stand maybe on I hand me take pupitori, for example, I will grab here, take a look that at the same time I will be breaking this thumb at the same time and I am going up and I am having conditions to perform this kotemawasi, uh, kutsurem kotemawasi. Take a look that if I try to do in that way, she could, before, mainly, I am not doing any IT here. What it happens is that surely she will punch me, she will stab me, she will perform whatever, because you are not having control of your partner, of your opponent in this case. Then when she grasps me here, first of all, I have this powerful lock here. My power goes forward, and right now, I have conditions to perform this powerful kuzure in this case, you maybe you don't you don't could perceive here, but this is very very painful. When we have this powerful lock, we could be going to the side, also breaking here more powerful the the wrist. After that, we have conditions to grab here and have this powerful lock. We could strike. We could be protecting from the, from the lower limbs, from the legs, also having this control here, and after that, passing and having this control. I cool, kneel down, and control here in order to break the elbow here. It's a very common and powerful. Remember that we will have this wrist broken, the thumb broken, and the elbow here broken. We could go also here in order to grab from the hair, in order to break also or to press or to open here wide and we could enter in order to damage the nerves that it's in the cervical spine. And after here having broken all these spots, I will keep that and move like that. Keeping this palm down because after that I will press, I am doing with my palms, because I need to be careful with my partner here, because if I press strong, I will break completely the elbow. In this position, it will be impossible if he is uh, with her wrist, her elbow, her thumb broken, and also the pain that we have caused on the cervical base, this is very difficult to escape. Then I could leave, I could go out, Maybe I could damage, maybe stepping on the, uh, the Achilles tendon and I could go out and escape. These are two uh, proposals 
for this hari that is the stick forms the stick uh, techniques that I hope that you like and could be questioned in uh, now on. Thank you very much and uh, keep watching our channel. See you next time.